We're here from Malik Ishmael from the new African American Vanguard movement. First of all, everybody say all power to the people. All power to the people. All power to the people. Everybody say Allah Wakba. Allah Wakba. Everybody say Alutu Continua. Alutu Continua. Brothers and sisters, it's a pleasure to be here on behalf of the Vanguard Movement. We're here to give a standing support to Brother Mumui Abu Jamal, and we are not satisfied with just a retrial. We want his total freedom, as well as the freedom of Brother Geronimo Pratt, who has lingered in the court systems and the jail system here in America. It's time for their freedom. We are tired of dealing with a criminal, criminal injustice system. They call it a criminal justice system, but it is a criminal, criminal injustice system. Brothers and sisters, in the case of the people taking the criminal justice system to court, it's not the case of taking your, the people to court, it's to take the criminal criminal justice system to court. Brothers and sisters, as well as, as all our efforts to free Brother Mumi Abu-Jamal, we must not forget about the, all the other political prisons that have languished in prisons for 30, 40, 50 years just because they wanted to challenge the status quo. What we must do is lift our voice lift our fists and fight like hell just to get them out. Brothers and sisters, the criminal criminal justice system has let murderers like Soon Ja Du go for killing Sister Latasha Harlan. Indeed, it is a criminal criminal justice system. They have let Brasino, Wynn, Coon, and the other goons go when they beat Brother Rodney Cream and it took a black tea party, not a riot, but a black tea party, just like the Boston Tea Party that the Europeans had here when they got tired of taxation without representation. They got tired of being exploited and oppressed. Brothers and sisters, it's the year of the ballot or the bullet. It's the year of liberty or death. It's the year of the vote or the revolt. Historically, this criminal criminal justice system has let murderers like the murderers of Emmett Till, Medgar Evers, Sister Eleanor Bumpus, Brother William Gavin, Fred Hampton, Mark Clark, anyone that has dissented in a political way, they have been persecuted and murdered by this country, by the criminal criminal justice system in this country. You can't name a person here in America that challenges the status quo that hasn't been in jail. They put Moses in jail. They put Jesus in jail. Jesus, the black revolutionary messiah. They put Nat Turner, Marcus Garvey, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Huey P. Newton, Bobby Seale, Angela Davis, George Jackson, and Lyndon LaRouche are, have been languishing in prison for all these years. We give support to Brother Geronimo Pratt and Brother Mumia Abu Jamal, and we say we are not satisfied with compromise. We're not satisfied with concessions. If a man sticks a knife in your back nine inches and takes it out six inches, that's not progress. If he takes the knife all the way out, that's not progress. It is only when the wound that the blow causes heal is when there be any progress. Brothers and sisters, I want to point to some glaring facts about the glaring inconsistencies from the uh, court documents that uh, Brother Abu Jamal has been uh, confronted with. As the sister stated earlier, the presiding judge in the case, Judge Albert Sabu, which we should call him Boo Boo, because, because his record for inhumanity to man stinks. He is, again, a former member, a retired member of the fraternal order of the police department. So how, what do you expect him to do? What do you expect, how do you expect him to feel? He wants to kill anybody, or he wants to have anybody killed that has dissented in a political way here in America. Brothers and sisters, again, it's an honor to be here, and I end my comments by an analogy that Brother Malcolm made back in the 60s that stated the importance of people sitting together and coming together and doing something for the conditions of their people. He said, if I take my hand and slap you, you can't hardly feel it because these digits are separated. But the only way to put you back in your place is to bring these digits together. All power to the people. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, bring her on. Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Express 
And my congratulations to freedom fighters to be in the courtroom with Mumia Abu Jamal in Philadelphia, meeting with his family, appealing to the judge for permission to talk with him. I was able to meet with him for an hour on this past Monday in Philadelphia. We were there when the, when the judge granted the stay of execution. It was a great moment of celebration.